Okay, so before I dive into this thing, obviously, spoilers, I, I don't know why I had to say that because the title of the video should have just gave it away, but at the same time, I didn't think I'd ever be making a video like this for Princess Peach Showtime. I mean, since it's made by Good Feel, I feel like none of the endings from any of their games were really that crazy. You know what I mean? They were always pretty good, but they never really made me say, okay, I, I need to make a video on this. But yeah. I I need to make a video on this. I was actually kind of impressed by how kind of deep some of the scenes were. Like, it wasn't just a corny stage play where, like, there was no real threat. I mean, there was literally a mission where one of the sparklers was tied to a railroad track, about to get ran over by a train. I'm like, this game doesn't mess around. And I learned that pretty quick. I'm like, there's a lot of fighting scenes, believe it or not, and Peach is actually wailing on some of these characters. This isn't just a simple stage play. They're actually morphing it into a real-life issue for these people of this theater. I'm like, these sparklers are being kidnapped. You know, these bad guys of the Wicked Great group are like kind of walking around and trying to actually harm people. There's even like a detective mission where they're like planting bombs to blow up a block. I'm like, did they... <laughs> It's not messing around. But you get to the very end of the game and you have to rescue all the sparklers that are trapped within their respected worlds in the basement floor. And once you do so, a giant boss door will appear. But you can't open it, not even with all the gems that you've collected. So all 10 of the sparklers come together in order to give you maximum power and a brand new transformation. And this is what Peach turns into. <laughs> What just happened? Peach literally turns into a super Rosalina or something. Like, I don't even know how to explain what this even is. Like, Radiant Peach? This, this is crazy. And you know what's interesting too? If you listen to the music, it almost sounds like it's playing the first couple of notes of Rosalina's observatory theme. Maybe I'm reaching, okay? Maybe I'm just trying to reach out there and find something, but just listen. But on second thought, it sounds even more like the rescued Peach theme from New Super Mario Brothers. Listen to this. Okay, enough about the music. But Peach turns into Radiant Peach, which is her ultimate transformation, and she's able to fly through the air all Rosalina style. So yes, of course, I gotta wonder if there's some type of relation there. Like, has she like have some type of powers built in her from Rosalina? Is this how Rosalina got her powers? That's for another day. But at the end of the day, she uses her star sparkle power and busts open the boss door and flies in to face Madame Grape 1v1. And it doesn't just switch over to the boss battle. We get some really good cinematic cutscenes that are all pre-rendered and look all juicy. And like, there's a lot at the end of the game and it gives it some life and feeling to it. And I really did not expect this from Princess Peach Showtime. This is like some of the animation that you'd get in like Luigi's Mansion or even a Mario game. I mean, we've gotten more cinematic animation in this one scene that I feel like most Mario games we've gotten in recent years. So like, this was so impressive. I know a lot of people were upset that Grape didn't have more of a role and more of a character in this game. Like maybe just, you know, kind of fleshing her out in her, you know, motives and why she's doing what she's doing. But at the same time, she actually was like a real threat. Like she didn't care what she did. She wanted to get rid of Peach and she was willing to destroy the entire theater to do so. So like, yeah, I, I actually love that. But dude, the boss battle starts and you're like on this 2D plane floating around the air shooting like star beams at Madame Grape while she's on the center stage and you have to fire them in between the enemies while also dodging all the attacks that she shoots at you from the sky and from the ground and from the left and right it's actually pretty cool I will be honest is it that hard not at all but man does it look cool and does it feel cool to control Peach as it's very smooth and fluid and for a game that had some pretty big you know spikes and drops in its performance this whole battle seemed to work pretty smoothly for me after three different attempts of hitting it with light beams, eventually Madame Grape will just kind of explode and her mask will fall to the ground. 
I look for Princess Peach Showtime. I was just like, you know what? That was really cool. Let's just end the game there or whatever. Like that was cool. You know, I still would love to see all the transformations be used or at least the ones where you could actually attack with them. But I was like, that's fine. That's cool. And I really didn't expect them to give us a Kirby situation. And they're like, hold on. There's a part two here. Yeah, Madam Grape is not done. And remember when I said that she would do literally anything to stop Peach, even destroying the theater? Well... What in the actual what? This is a game about stage plays with Princess Peach and some eldritch horror comes out of the ground in the most terrifying way. What is this? Like I genuinely got creeped out by it. I was like, whoa, the, like the laugh and like the roar that it let out, it felt insane to me i was like this is no way a princess peach game and it honestly felt like they took huge inspiration from like the kirby game i mean you can see evidence of kirby everywhere here with peach's transformations honestly with all of her boss battles and unique boss battles in this game including the final boss which is like this giant creepy monster demon thing but peach once again transforms into radiant peach and takes to the skies in order to battle madam grape one more time they slap you in this gigantic cinematic set piece and once again it's not that difficult you're flying around dodging things and blasting madam grape with a laser off and on but oh my god goodness just look at this battle arena you're all the way outside of the broken theater out into the area surrounding the little island and you can see all types of crazy things in the background such as a giant portal of void from madam grape i mean it really does feel like a kirby boss battle at the end i mean there's literally attacks such as giant lasers and beams that looks like it's pulled directly from a kirby boss i mean look at this Finally, Peach completely obliterates Madame Grape and just completely shatters her mask, but Peach still isn't done yet because she's like going for the soul of this creature. She flies up in the air all supersonic style, charges up a super missile Peach Beam and just fly straight into this warp hole thing from Madame Grape, completely obliterating every last chance she had to ever come back. Now this also kind of gave me like a creepy vibe because it almost showed like it's not really the mask that she is. It's like some type of, you know, eternal being or something that was within the mask. As you can tell, without the mask, she still was alive and Peach is just kind of shooting through some big black hole void that seems to be her. Yeah, it's just kind of creepy, like she was never really like a being, if anything, she was some type of like cosmic entity that came down to ruin this theater. And I mean, look, laugh and call me weak all you want if you're thinking I'm making a big deal over the ending of a, you know, kind of crazy Princess Peach game, but I'm like, this was crazy. I mean, even for Mario standards, we really haven't seen Mario fight a final boss quite to this caliber. I mean, this is just kind of insane. Peach, of course, then flies around the theater to rebuild it and restores it to its natural way and of course she regains her crown and puts it on a little desk with a picture of her friends that she's made along the way. They also show Madame Grape's mask still floating in the water for some reason. I don't know if they're hinting at a, you know, eventual sequel in the future. Uh, maybe she's going to return or maybe there's going to be something else with her coming back or maybe she can like establish herself as Peach's new main antagonist now. It's hard to say, but I definitely thought that was interesting. But this is just so crazy for a game like Princess Peach Showtime, which was seen by a lot of people as a smaller scale game this year. But man, does it have an amazing ending. I can tell you right now, after playing through pretty much the entire of the game and still going through some of the collectibles right now this game is really good like it's actually really good and it doesn't need to be difficult to be fun i don't think i've ever really done a review on this channel and princess peach showtime might be my first review that i've ever done so Look forward to something like that soon. But let me know what you thought of this ending. Make sure you leave a like and subscribe also to stay up to date on all things Princess Peach and Nintendo in general. And like always, I'll see you all on the next one. See you guys.